Hi everybody, this is Suzanne Hyron from Memmi Papyrus. There has never been a better time to talk about the power of hope and it's appropriate that this is a stamp set that's available in celebration for a few more days. So this card is inspired by hope, send it to everybody you know and let's get started. So I started with a card base of very vanilla cardstock and this is the thick cardstock because it's the base of the card and this measures eight and a half by five and a half. So I'm going to, I scored it already at four and a quarter. I'm going to give it a good press with my bone folder and put it aside for now. I want to start by stamping the image on my circle here that is a two and a half circle that I punched out with the two and a half two and a half inch circle punch. I'm going to start with some memento ink on my pagoda and The reason I'm starting with this is to let it dry a little bit before I start coloring. So that's done. Next step will be the Versamark. I have a piece of Poppy Parade cardstock here that is three and three quarters by five. And I'm going to use the tree randomly around the front of the card and I'll later emboss it with gold embossing powder. So I start at the bottom, move up, move up. So now that I have the main pieces, I'll randomly fill in the blanks here. You can stamp off the paper. Oh, well, I just made it a mistake here. I forgot to use my embossing buddy before I emboss. So let's hope for the best so that it doesn't stick where it's not supposed to. And we can correct anything with a little paintbrush if I need to. So I'll just very generously pour some gold embossing powder all over the cardstock. Tap it off, have a look. Seems pretty good. I don't think it's stuck where it wasn't supposed to. So I got lucky, but next time embossing buddy it is. Don't forget. So I'm going to use something to hold the paper so I don't burn my fingers. And I've got some little pliers here that I'll just Lightly hold the paper, get my embossing, my heat gun going so it's nice and hot. And move it around. I don't want to burn the paper and I don't want it to warp, so I can't go too, too close. And by moving around, it helps. See, I'm starting to see it melt here very nicely.
So let's set that aside for now. We're going to adhere it to the basic black layer. So now that my pagoda is nice and dry, we'll start with the stamping blends and these are the Poppy Parade stamping blends. So I'm going to use the light shade first. Then I'm going to give it a little bit of contrast with the darker. So I'll do a bit of shading. Now the structure, for the structure I used uh, light soft suede. I thought it had a little bit of a, a gold um, tinge to it so that it matched with the gold embossing powder. back and just shade it a bit more. When the designers put lines in their images it helps because it kind of tells you where you can shade your image. And for the bottom, just the ground here, I've I have chosen the light old olive. So just need a little bit here. Perfect. So next step I'm going to take this circle and I'm going to run it through the corrugated dynamic embossing folder. And I'll be right back. Here we have it. Nice little lantern and I've cut two little pieces of one half inch by one inch of black, a basic black cardstock that I'm going to adhere to the top and to the bottom with some Tombow glue. I'm just going to put a bit of glue on the bottom. And the top. Did hear that? And while that is drying, I will come and adhere my layer. to the black. I think this is such a dramatic effect, the gold and red and black, I just love it. Now we'll put this on our card front. So next we'll do the embossing of the sentiment. So for my sentiment on this card I used, hope is the power that makes all things possible. So that's kind of the spirit of the moment these days. We need hope. 
that everything's going to be okay. I would love to give one of these to one of my neighbors who's a, uh, a nurse in one of the hospitals here in Ottawa who has to leave her family and live somewhere else while she takes care of patients to not put them at risk. So hats off to her and all her team. Where's the embossing powder? Here it is. All right. So to cut it out, I use the Stitched So Sweetly dies from the spring catalog. And I use the second smallest. I found that it had a nice shape to it. So I'll just run that through the die cutting machine. Be right back. Here's our sentiment. We'll get some Stampin' Dimensionals for this one. And I'll use the pick attachment from my Take Your Pick tool to remove the backing, position it on my card on the right bottom side. And now I can position my lantern a little bit higher and what I'll do is I'll just punch a hole on the top here and grab some baker's twine slip it through Use a couple more Stampin' Dimensionals. I never waste the corners. Always use the corners. And here is my lantern. There you go. So on the inside, the Power of Hope has another sentiment that says, today is a day for new beginnings. So I think that's what I'm going to put on the inside. Here we go. So that's my card for today. Be well, stay home, and make cards. Enjoy. See you next week.